What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. It's been, I'd say, about a year to a year and a half since my last EDC or Everyday Carry video. And in that time, I've gotten quite a few more subscribers now than I had then. So those people, the new subscribers, probably haven't saw those older videos. Plus, a lot of things has changed with my Everyday Carry kit, and I've updated that since then. So I decided to make a video here today about what I carry currently. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube about Everyday Carry kits. And it seems that a lot of people think that you have to carry everything plus the kitchen sink, as the saying goes, to have an Everyday Curry kit. And while I don't know but I personally doubt if a lot of those people actually carry all those items on a daily basis. I know a lot of people consider their everyday carry as what they carry in their vehicle, plus on their person at all times. To me, an everyday carry kit is what you carry on your body, on your person at all times, not counting what you carry in your vehicle. What you have in your vehicle is your vehicle kit. Your everyday carry is what you carry on your body. So guys, try to keep it simple, try to keep it basic, because if you carry, if you try to carry 15, 20, 30 items with you at all times, it's going to be difficult to do, it's going to be uncomfortable to do, and you'll be tempted to leave that back in your vehicle, leave that at home, and not actually carry those items. And then, when you actually need those items you won't have what you need because it was uncomfortable it was heavy and you left it behind or left it in your vehicle so try to keep it basic try to keep it lightweight and try to just carry the basic bare bones essentials of what you will actually need to take care of what needs to be taken care of one of the first things I carry that most people don't seem to think about or carry is bleed stop I carry this Usually in my coat pocket during the winter time, in my front pocket, in my pants or something like that during the summertime. It's very good if you get cut, if something happens and you're bleeding out, this will help slow that bleeding down and might buy you time until you can get to medical services, get to a hospital, get to a doctor's office or something to get stitched up, sewn up, and get that bleeding stopped. But you can bleed out really, really quickly depending on well, you're cut, well, you're shot, what well, happens, guys? But bleed stop is something that a lot of people fail to think about and fail to carry on their person at all times. It's also good to carry some extra in your vehicle, also in your vehicle first aid kit, like a uh, quick clot is also good. I like this because it's smaller and lightweight, but it's one of my everyday carry items as of the last few months. Another thing that I carry all the time is a full-size BIC lighter. It doesn't have to be a BIC as long as it's reliable. You need, to, you need to carry a lighter. I don't smoke, but you might need to build a fire. You might need to burn something down. You can never tell what's going to happen, guys, but a lighter is definitely good to have. Another thing I carry is, of course, a knife. It doesn't matter what kind of knife you carry, what brand it is. As long as you carry a knife, the knife is sharp, and the knife has a good locking feature. You don't want to have a knife that will close up on your fingers if you're trying to cut something. Because like a like a case double X for example. They're a beautiful knife. They're good for a collector's item. But in my opinion they're not that great to carry because the blade doesn't lock and when you're cutting, doing things, you might accidentally cause the blade to close up on your fingers and things like that. Not give yourself defense either. I think a knife that you carry should be able to double as just a cutting tool to also be able to use it for self-defense. This knife is perfect for that. You can see the blade, the way it's made, it's perfect for self-defense. So, a good knife. Again, doesn't matter what brand you carry, what you carry, as long as it's solid, sharp, and will do what you need, what needs to be done, like cutting things, seat belts, cutting wire, string, or it can be put in a service for self-defense if need be. Another thing I carry, of course, is a handgun. This is a Glock Model 19. What I usually carry is a Glock Model 19. As far as the holsters go, I carry the original, usually with the original Glock holster, as you can see. 
because the Glock holster is lightweight, it's thin, it takes up very little space, and it's, I think, around 20 bucks. I've had this one for years. It works great. I carry the Glock 19 and other holsters sometimes, like I'm here working around the homestead. I will carry that in a chest holster. You've all seen that before. A link down in the first comment to that holster. Excellent holster. Depends on what you're doing as far as what holster you use, what time of year that you're carrying, but I always carry a handgun. And guys with the handgun, I also carry an extra 15 round magazine. I also carry some ma extra magazines in my truck, including a 33 rounder. But on my body, like I said, I carry the Glock 19, extra magazine, bleed stop, a cigarette lighter, and a knife. Keep it basic, keep it simple, and you'll not leave it at home because it's difficult to carry, uncomfortable, or just impractical. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think. What do you carry in your everyday carry kit? Do you have any suggestions for anyone else? Can you make my kit even smaller? Can you replace some of the items I have that I normally carry on a daily basis with something that is easier to carry? For example, smaller, lighter, but is of equal effectiveness to complete the job as needed. Anyway, guys, I'm going to creep more. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully.